Hi, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy song on GarageBand using a MIDI keyboard. So let's go and open GarageBand. Okay, so now we have GarageBand open as you can see. Um, and so what we need to do is we press new project um, and we press piano. Doesn't really matter, we'll just say test song. Um, Oopsie. Um, and that looks good. Um, and we're, oh yeah, you can see my recorder. It's very professional. Um, and we're going to open up GarageBand. Um, and that opens up into our new song editing suite. Okay. So I'm just going to, um, oh, okay. So let me try, I have my USB piano over here, if you remember that, and I'm going to try to say record. So it looks like we are working here, let's test that out. So that's pretty simple, you see what I mean? So um, well, the first thing we want to do always when we're laying down a garage band is drums. So we say, we're just gonna, I, I like to um, put a loop for my drums since it just makes everything easier. So let's go ahead and go under all drums and then um, let's find one which we like. What's this like? It's good, it's quite simple, good for testing. All right, um, and so that was called a loop. Um, when you, a loop is a pre-made song. Um, when you're doing something real, you try to avoid using loops um, because they aren't original, obviously. Um, but when you do, um, make sure that you always do the drums first. And to get into the loops, you just click this button right here. Um, and you come into division, so you want all your drums, but you want beats too. Um, let's have some rock. So there you go. So it's like that. Um, so now here are all of the loops. So, um, to loop a loop, if that makes sense, drag your mouse over to the right corner of it and then loop it like this. So let me make about 15 measures of that. And I'm turn my metronome off. So as you can see, we have our new um, thingy. So now what we're going to see, we're going to put our mouse on the track tab, and we're going to say new track. And let's do a software instrument. And that's how you use your your MIDI instrument or your guitar. And as you can see, you open up this tab on the right, which you don't just have to do piano, right? You can actually use any of these thingies. So um, you can use bass, drums, guitars. And um, you can use horns and mallets and um, so that's great because it means that you don't have to buy a bunch of different instruments for this. But um, for right now, let's just start off with some piano. Where did my piano? So here we go. Um, so what's this like? It's kind of boring. That's nice, isn't it? So, um, let's find something that goes nicely with that drum. No. So let's find something, you, you have, try to find something that goes well with the drum beat. So like, um, let me turn my metronome on here. I'm going to record. 
Um, I'm just trying to think of something that would sound good. Turn my metronome off and then record with that. So you can give yourself a measure. So once you have that, you can loop this also so that you have this repeating look. So you can loop that all the way to that measure and now So um, now that we have our piano on our drums, let's start doing something fun. So how about, so we're going to go on to track, new track, as you saw earlier. And let's do a software instrument. Um, and let's do, let's do a guitar. Obviously that's a bit too loud for this sort of fun jam here, so let's just take us back to the beginning. As you can see, I, I rolled down my volume here since it's such a loud instrument. That's too quiet now. So now we have um, an idea of what I'm going to do, so I'll just press record again. So let's see how that sounded. I'm not sure that's, you know what I mean, it doesn't really match what we were doing, but let's try this. So the second jam that I was doing, as you can see, kind of sounded better with that, so we're going to say record. So now to cut that, you go to the side, and you can see our looping tool there, but if you go back a bit, you can get that, and let's see, is that about the size of a measure? I wanted that in a specific place, didn't I? So... So now we can loop it to where we want the last one to be. Let's see this. So, um, we can now, so, as you can see, I'm going to extend this one loop, so, this is actually going to go past the others. It'll sound kind of cool, but what we can do in a minute... But watch this. Now, if you click this button right here, you can do something which is kind of similar to, um, a fade out in iMovie. So, we want our fade out to start... About right here. 
So you click once there, and as you can see, we have a leveling line, and we want it to drop out at the end of it, like that. See? So let's see how that fade out sounds. So um, now we have a nice sort of... So now I have a, a nice guitar which sort of fades out at the end, so it isn't just like a da da da, and it doesn't, you know, like just keep going on, which is kind of obnoxious. So now let's add another instrument. Um, let's say a new track. I'm just trying to think what would sound good with this. Maybe some strings. Um. I know, how about some horns? Um, here we go. What's this like? That's kind of nice, isn't it? Let's just play this again so we can... And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to solo out this. I mean, I'm going to mute this so that I only hear my piano by clicking that button, by the way. Okay, so I have an idea on what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to click record. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the beginning, I mean drag it into the beginning and loop it to the end so now we can unsolo our this might not sound too great but let's try So I like that ending, so um, I think that's pretty good for our, our test song. So we're going to say share, and we're going to send it to iTunes. Um, then we can name it, and my playlist, that's pretty good, or I'm Kadian, and um, home name, sure, test album actually. Okay. So we're going to say share to iTunes, and let's see this. Um, so now it's going to mix down, it's, it's kind of like when you're exporting an iMovie, it's, it's melding it into one. Um, so that you can't edit it anymore. Um, no worries, it will be able to edit it. It's just exporting, you know what I mean? Um, and unlike... So there you have it. Make sure you press, um, Command S before you're done so you save it. Because unlike Garage, um, iMovie and iPhoto, you have to save. So, um, go ahead and make a great new song. Um, have a great day. Bye. Um, actually, sorry. Follow me on Twitter. It's apple underscore fanboy98. And, um, email me at kadian at kadian.net. And, um, all my notori notor <coughs> tutorials are on kadian.net, the actual website. So, um, go ahead and make yourself a song. Bye.